Hello and welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com, the Python Glossary. Today we're going to talk about a built-in function called ID. The built-in function ID gives us the ability to check the unique identifier of an object. So let's take a look at how this works. Let's create an object by assigning a variable to an object. So let's do a is equal to my favorite number 2. We'll call a. Now we see a is returning 2. So it's pointing to an object that contains the value 2. Now we want to check the um, ID, the unique identifier of that object. So we do ID, parentheses, A, parentheses, and hit return. Here is our unique identifier. So this unique identifier is pointing to a location in the memory, which is an object. So let's take another look at another one. Let's do B is equal to 3. We'll call B. And then we'll do ID, parentheses, B, parentheses. Now, these two numbers are not the same. It might be hard for you to judge on the video, but there's one way we can check it. As programmers, there's always ways to check to see if something's the same. So we can do ID A is equal equal, which is saying is the same. Is this the same, which is saying ID parentheses B and hit return. False. They're not the same. Alright. So let's do let's point another variable to that object. So let's do C is equal to two. So we're pointing to the same object A is pointing to. Hit return. I'll see one more time. And let's do ID parentheses C parentheses hit return. Now here's a unique identifier. If you look at them, like I said, it might be hard for you to see. These two numbers are the same. Like we just did, we can actually test that. ID A is equal equal to ID C. Hit return. It's true. They have the same unique identifier. So what that means is A is referencing an object that contains a value 2. C is referencing the same object with the, with the value 2 as A. hope that's not confusing. They're both pointing to the same object that contains a value 2. So this number here is the object's unique identifier. It's its location in the memory. Um, so what would we use ID for? Well we could use it to check to see if um, what object is containing our value. Um, probably wouldn't use it much in practice. I've been trying to think about this today. How, why would you or how would you? But I don't think you'd really use it in practice. But if you're uh, debugging a program, you, this might come in handy. And it's also good to know that you can actually check the unique identifier of an object. So we just proved that um, if we had the same value as 2 here, our variables like C and A will point to the same object. In previous tutorials I said that um, objects can have multiple variables. So this kind of proves it right here. They, they are pointing to the same object. Um, let's try one more thing. Let's do uh, D is equal to, we'll do string. Notice I use lowercase there. D is equals to string. Let's get the ID for D. Hit return. The ID for D is this long integer number here. Now let's do one more. E is equal to sh string, and I use a capital there. Hit return. Call E. And now let's see, if, since they're the same word, same string, but there's different capitals, let's see what happens. Let's do ID D is equal equal to ID E. Now what do you guys think is going to happen? Hit return. Before I hit return, think about it. These two objects, are they the same? They look the same, but something's different. Hit return, it's false. The reason why these two objects are not the same is because we use the capital in the variable E's object. So that's just another uh, little thing I want to point out. 
Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.